Hi, it is I, Sci-Fi. And I'm playing Magic Arena. And, let's see, two, six, three, and two, and I have three... Hmm. I guess I'll keep it. And I'm playing this, uh, deck that the uh, game gave me. It's pretty interesting. I'll enter it tapped. Ah. Uh, man, I love the way the planes cards looks. Well, hold on. I'll play a swamp down. And I will... Do the whispering snitch. This deck is all about surveying. And, uh, I'll show you how surveil works. But it looks like this is going to be a rushdown deck, and I'm going to have a hard time countering it. Unless I can get some spells that'll help me out here. I think I'll play this one next, that way I can look at his hand and discard something. Oh, actually that, <laughs> that works out nicely. Okay, I can only do one, because it's two and two is four, and I only have three. Let's, um, let's do this one. So that's going to be three. He can play that one next. He can play this one. Plus two, plus two. And then those two. Let's get rid of that. And then I do want to draw that. So by surveying, I can see the top part of my deck. And I can either keep it or put it into my graveyard. And this guy is not going to attack. He'll just block. So I got rid of the... Basri's Acolyte, because it can get a plus one plus one counter on two other creatures, which he does have, and next turn, I play the Unexplained Disappearance to return that guy to his hand. I guess I'll take the hit. Okay, so we'll play a Swamp. Make that guy go away. And then I can see. Gain control or surveil? Yeah, I'll keep that. And then he's not going to do attack. So if he plays it again, I can gain control of it. If he, he I think he buffed it. Okay, never mind. See, I'm taking a lot of hits here. Two power. So yeah, I can't do that. Let's just do this. Gain control of this guy. No attacks, he'll block next turn. That way when I play minions, I get health, but it's not going to really help me in the long run. Just kill it. Did that guy have death touch or something? Why did it dice? Why didn't it kill this? I, I don't understand. Anyway. I'm gonna destroy it. Okay, that's good. Destroy this guy. He's gone. It gets a veil too. So, Blood Operative is nice for the lifelink. And then this guy is actually really good because I can keep tapping his cards. So, I'll draw both of those. Although, I would like some more land. No attacks there because I need the life. Hopefully he'll run out of steam. What is that thing? Mm, doesn't look like he's running out of steam. It's just a battlefield grid with, with your devotion to white. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do the lifelink operative. And I can exile target card from a graveyard. So I can get rid of something from his graveyard. Um, let's just get rid of this guy. I can't really deal with flying. Let's get rid of flying. Um, take action? Okay, yeah, that's the thing I did. Okay. I can attack. He'll have to block with two minions to stop it. But I'm not going to. 
because I'm all on defense here. I'm not going to attack unless I know I can get away with it. What's that? If he's just going to go flying, I'm okay with that. Okay. I don't want to deal with that. It's already tapped, I think, so I can't do that immediately. Yeah, and then this guy. I can see my next one would be a swamp. I don't need mana right now. <laughs> Milana. We'll attack with this guy to give me some life. If he kills it, I take out a card and I get some life. If he doesn't, I get some life anyway. Okay. Now I think I have the option. Whenever I surveil, I can put him back into my hand. At the cost of three life, though. Okay. We're just gonna block him. And then block these two. Alright. The trot of the silencer is nice. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, I only have five. Okay. So, he'll hit me once, drop it down to four, and then when this person attacks, I can exile one of his cards and I'll exile the Angel of Vitality. Alright, cool. Got an island. Got a flying, so I can counter the hawk. Might as well go with that. I think I'm recovering, guys. Alright, a trot of the silencer. Silence is the angel of vitality. It's gone. It's in the exile pile, which means you cannot ever get it again. Tomb crit, what's that? Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Oh, wow. So my graveyard's completely gone. I cannot get that guy back again. But it's alright. Um... Tap creature. I don't want that. I don't want to pay any more life than I have to. But it is pretty nice. Yeah. Instant. Do all attacks, two attackers, and I'll just, um, I might as well just fucking kill it. No, I don't have enough mana. I'll just tap it. So he can't block. And then hopefully he doesn't have a buff. Okay, no buff. That thing's just gonna hit me. Do that. One attack. Because I want this thing to block now. Whenever you gain life, you may pay. Okay. Okay, sure. Attack me. I'm good with that. We'll block it. All that mana, but no cards to play, dude. Alright. Secret. We're gonna surveil, see what we're getting next. Gives me health. Takedown is good. I'll attack with this guy. Alright, looks like we made a recovery, guys. I don't see him winning. Oh, flying. Flying is bad. At least I have a creature to block it. Okay, we'll just block this guy. That Dawn of Hope is really nice. Okay. If I attack with this, 
Actually, you know what? If I attack with everything, I'll win. So let's do that. Okay, he'll block that. I'll play this to reduce it to a 3-1, then I'll kill it, and I'll still have my Sphinx. Alright, I think I'm good guys, I think I'm good, alright. I oh, he pacified it. Okay, that means it can't attack or block. So... Let's see what kind of, uh... Okay, so I'm getting these two next. That's flying. Flying could be good, actually, so... I'll keep those. And then I'll take the takedown. Because takedown... can instantly kill one of those. And now, he doesn't have enough to block this. I win. GG. Good game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play... Uh, I forget what this deck is called. Let's take a look at it. I think it's like Demiris or something. Reward. Porky Parrot. Okay, it's got Mutate. And this creature deals X damage to the target where X the number of times this creature has mutated. A card pack and then a card skin. Alright, claim my prize. So the deck that I was using is called House Demir. This one. It's a blue-black deck. It's all about um, control, really. There's so many cards in this deck that make you put an opponent's creatures back into their hand or exile them from the game. And then you can see what you're drawing and if you want to put it in your graveyard or not. So it's all about having control on the battlefield. I like it a lot. Um... I've actually got a lot of cards, a lot of decks from the game that I didn't realize I had. Cold-Blooded Killers is a new one I haven't done. I really like uh, Angelic Army, and House to Mirror is really fun. This one, the Cult of Rakdos, it's a black-red deck. It's basically just a, um, a fucking demonic carnival, and I say that because... Can I see it? And there's a way to, like, look at it. There it is. Okay, so like, if you look at the land, see, look, it's the Rakdos Guildgate. It looks kind of like a tent. And then there is, like, the Bedeck, and then Bedazzle. You see someone putting on makeup, and this guy's coming out to Bedazzle you. And then you have uh, Get to the Point. It's a guy on a fucking spinning wheel beat with knives being thrown at him by this, probably this blade juggler here. Dressed like a harlequin. This guy's blowing fire out of his mouth. The fire wheeler, you know, throwing, throwing flaming rings. It's a really, really cool deck. There's a legendary creature in it, Judas Scourge Diva. I like it. Um, I'm not gonna modify it though. Line of fire looks like it's all about pirates, honestly. Anyway. So, let's open this pack up, see what I got. A legendary creature. Kervek, the Spiteful. Other creatures get negative one, negative one. That's actually not too bad. Short sword. Pretty standard stuff. I just felt like... Log it in, recording a match. I got actually got a really good game out of that. Um, you go to the Mastery. I did buy the uh, the Season Pass for this game. So I did get like a little bit more. Like, I leveled up to level 19. So everything I've got is on both these tracks here. Uh, I've got card packs, gold, Mastery Orbs, skin, card, skin cosmetics. Eventually you'll get your money back. Next level I get 200 uh, gems. 
You got a little pet dog. You got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, I got my mastery tree here. I've decided to level up the red one, even though I like white the most, but I have a lot of these red cards. And the final cosmetic is Chandra. Heart of Fire. <coughs> Which actually is a planeswalker that I do own. I'm not quite sure what happens when you level them all up. I haven't done any sort of ranking, I've just kind of been doing casual stuff. You change your avatar here, but this is the guy I, I got when I bought the uh, pass. Uh, here we go back. Change my pet selection, I've only got the Hunter's Hound. This guy's not unlocked or anything. Anyway, I should have ended this video a while ago. Um, check it out, Magic Arena, free to play. Um, I've only put 20 bucks into it, that's just to buy the season pass. But it's really a lot of fun. Like, I've always wanted to get into Magic the Gathering. But it just, it seems really complicated and intimidating, and Hearthstone just seems so simple. And I guess, yeah, it is. It can be complicated. But at the same time, it's just, this game makes it really easy for you to get into it. Just pick up and play whenever. Okay. I'm going to end my, uh, end my talking. So, hope you guys had a great time enjoying this video. Take care.